you guys. Well, in front of you is the Kafaru Wubi. And uh, if you were to ask most servicemen, one of their most favorite pieces of kit, it's probably a Wubi. Uh, Wubi is synonymous with uh, some sort of poncho liner that goes back to many conflicts. Uh, you know, these guys use these poncho liners as, you know, blankets, um, more than just uh, a physical warming, uh, but also sort of a mental um, attitude. It's nice to have that comfort items with you. Uh, the Kafaru Wubi is a little bit different. It uh, uses a two ounce climber shield and we'll uh, we'll take this one out. Now this is how it comes um, in their own stuff sack here. This is sort of what they call rhino skin. Uh, it's similar to a siliconized ripstop. Um, I don't know if they do anything other than that. I know that they claim even their lightweight stuff um, kind of holds together very well. So you can get a compression stack. Um, I'll put in some pictures of putting this in there. Um, I think this is a different poncho liner I have in here. This gets down to about the same size as my REI Halo, which is a down 40 degree bag. Um, these are the smallest compression sacks you can buy. They're like extra small. Um, I've got several different colors of them. You'll see in the pictures, there's a green one. The sack is integrated into the Wubi. Little draw cord pulls this out. Uh, there's, I think, two different color schemes you can kind of get, just like an all tan. Uh, the one I chose here is the Multicam on one side and the Coyote tan on the other. And uh, along the perimeter are paracord little pull tabs. Um, I have noticed uh, using this that some of these can be kind of sharp and scratchy. Um, if it really irritates you, you could probably smooth them out with your lighter. I haven't really gone that far, but every once in a while um, I will notice them uh, being that scratchy. Uh, again, you know, the sky's the limit with versatility on this thing. You know, it's like basically a wool blanket without really the fire protection uh, that a wool blanket offers as far as being close to the fire and, and getting embers on this. This is nylon, you know, it's not uh, waterproof or anything like that. As you can see, the bag inside out is sewn on the very bottom corner. But I've used this in, for everything from um, testing out hammocks. Um, I got some little baby carabiners and I tied together and uh, maybe you'll see that in one of the pictures. But, uh, and use it as a, like an under quilt uh, for my GI. And uh, it is one of those pieces of kit or gear that you didn't realize how you could kind of, you know, get along without it um, after you have it. Um, I will warn you that, you know, be careful um, introducing this piece of gear to wives and girlfriends uh, because they will want their own <laughs> if you ever want to see yours back. Um, you know, in the winter, around the TV is sort of a TV blanket. Um, there's many different use, uses for these things. Uh, Max uh, seems to like them. You'll see a lot of the pictures I'll include at the end of my videos with Max sitting in a chair or something, and he's usually wrapped up in this thing. Um, and in the winter, we did use this for his blanket. Uh, this goes back all the way to, what was the last video I had with Max? I think it's just called The Frosted Dog. I'll find it and put a link up there. It was just him and I doing a little car camping, and he was snuggled up next to the fire in this thing. Uh, because it gets just as compact, it does work well as sort of an extra layer blanket. Now, that kind of gets us to temperature range. Your standard GI Woobies are really meant for summer. I mean... We're talking 50 degree plus weather. Uh, this thing with the two ounce climate shield, and the other thing you'll notice is the the climate shield is a continuous filament. So this is just one giant piece of insulation. There's no quilting going on on here, which will occasionally. It's hard to kind of see in video, but I can pull the outside nylon away uh, from the insulation, as you can see in there. So occasionally you just have to kind of find a seam, give it a good little shake, and you're good to go. Now the insulation isn't freely moving in there. Uh, it is sewn along with, you know, the edges, so you're not worried about it bunching up or moving on you, but it is not quilted in the middle. 
one thing that does for you is it gives you better dead air space management in the middle uh, any quilting spots you're going to be compressing the insulation so I do like that I will say I've had this down to lower 40s um, which is kind of pushing it. So when I made the comparison with the REI Halo 40 degree bag, um, that really is kind of around the same thing. Um, you know, some people, this is not a poncho liner, you know, specifically. Um, it does not have a hole uh, cut out for your head. But, um, you know, you can wrap this around you and any servicemen that are actually using these on the lines, um, they generally just wrap up in it like a blanket anyway, rather than dealing with having to configure it in a poncho or under a poncho or anything like that. So uh, you want to kind of just be able to wrap this around you, increase your warmth, and then, you know, shove it back down into your pack and be on your way. And so with that, like I said, I've had it down, um, I think, you know, probably 41, something like that. When you start getting from the 50 degrees closer to that 40 degree range at nights, um, you know, I, I wasn't freezing to death, but you definitely have that 5, 530 sort of uncomfortable, not quite as warm as you'd want to be, uh, sort of, un, you know, slightly interrupted sleep um, at the very, you know, crack of dawn where it's the coldest part of the night. So to increase the versatility, it would not be hard to bring, you know, a lightweight summer sleeping bag in a 40 degree and a wooby. Um, I have tied this around and just like you would treat a wool shirt. You can kind of put it over your head, take a piece of paracord, tie it around your waist, and use it, you know, as sort of a, a woodsman or a hunter's shawl. Um, it is extremely versatile. Uh, like I said, it's it's everything you want it to be, and it is extremely warm. The, for being just two ounce climate shield, uh, if you give it to somebody to use, or you're the girlfriend or wives, um, you will sort of almost immediately notice how warm it is instantly. And the only thing I can relate it to is if you've ever used or played around with space blankets in any sort of outdoor, um, you know, experiments, and you put your hand and you feel that radiating heat, this does almost the same thing. It is warmer than it should be for um, how lightweight it is. But I, you know, it's hard for me to kind of go on and on about all the uses of a blanket. Uh, the price is going to be a little bit higher than probably some of you want to pay. But, again, if you're comparing it to, say, you know, a 40 degree down sleeping bag, you know, uh, this is going to run you up to 200 bucks um, for sort of mainstream. So, it is comparable. If you compare it to what you're, you could be replacing it with, um, you know, the price makes sense. If you're comparing it to, you know, military wool blanket, yeah, you can probably pick those up for 15 bucks. But you're not going to be anywhere close to getting down to that 40 degree mark. Um, I think the only negative downside, um, other than some of you probably won't want to pay that price, um, I think it's 150 is the, you know, you have to do, you will have to be careful against sparks. And I have not had any issues with that. Um, I tried looking before this video to see if I had any burn throughs, and I haven't, so that's probably just more than luck than anything else. Um, but it's worth checking out. There is a double wooby, uh, which is obviously double as big. And then they have what they call the express, which is, uh, it's meant more of a, uh, good, you know, solid cut. It's meant to be worn as kind of an overshirt. It's meant to be worn over your LBV or your, uh, you know, your plate armor. And, um, you know, everyone has their own different stuff. That one is a lot, lot more, uh, higher cost just due to all the fabrication and the, and the sewing and whatnot this is just a big blanket <laughs> you know is all it is but it is a very cool piece of gear and once you own one like i said you probably will wonder you know why you never had one before so anyway i'll insert some photos thanks for watching guys